Yeah, she's her brother. Eric, there you go. Six o'clock. Uh, I tried to join him. What did you do? Like when you stood the flag of the United States of America, the new republic of which stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Anderson. Vadafer. Present. Kuter, Yaris, present. Ravish here, Doobie, present. Holstein excused. Everybody's enjoying the weather and for all the staff that's watching, hope they're getting ready tomorrow, correct? No. No, not no, next week. Next week. Next week. Well, enjoy their final week then. <laughs> but not for you guys, because you're already here. Okay, is there any additions or deletions or changes to the agenda? Mr. Chairman, I'd like to add item L to the consent agenda, the resignation of Michelle Faith as Title I paraprofessional. And the non-consent item C is school bus purchase. And also to move down to number seven, have a closed session for student reinstatement. <laughs> Any discussion? Now I make a motion to approve the agenda. Support. Support. Discussion. Get done. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Community comments on the agenda. Okay. See none. On the consent agenda. Move to approve the consent agenda and pay the bills totaling $504,372.70. Motion to support. Any discussion? Roll call. Vaderfer? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Kucher? Yes. Yaris? Yes. Rabish? Yes. Doobie? Yes. 6 0. Okay. To communicate. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, a couple things today. Uh, you have in the um, agenda tonight a contract with Safe Ed Coach Staffing Service. Just want to give you a little information on that, that this is a cost-effective staffing service for our coaches um, or other third-party uh, hires that we would have. Um, but we currently go with Willsub, and they charge 20% additional where this company, who is made up of a um, of education retirees, um, uh, police officers, people that have gone through this kind of thing, they have it at 10%. So it's a, a nice savings for us. Uh, the only real difference is that the coaches um, would get a 1099 instead of a W-2, which that means they're independent contractors. There's no, um, uh, um, what's it called, that when you get, if you get hurt or something. Yeah. So, yeah. So, but we've never had that ever in we looked at yeah, and talked about them because that can be a big deal. Yeah, yeah, that we would have to let them know, but it's and it's see a bigger paycheck. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so it's a nice savings for us, and uh, we I really liked their presentation to us. They came in and talked to us a couple weeks ago. So what other third party? You said that other third. They do other things. Other schools maybe they have like their hall monitors or. Uh, um, uh, the school resource officer, other things where they, they said, if you have any groups that you need us to do billing or that type of stuff for, that they do it in other schools. So that's kind of what they do. They have a pool of candidates? No, they don't do that. It's up, it's up to us. We we still we just tell them. For they just do the billing financial. and all the paperwork. Okay. Yep, they're the financial side of it. Yeah. Um, any other questions on that? Uh, Renew Physical Therapy contract. I had a nice meeting with um, the owner of Renew Physical Therapy who was interested in bringing us an athletic trainer, which has been something I've been trying to get for my two years here. Uh, they are very scarce right now. Uh, he 
presented a, a great contract for us that our lawyer had looked over and made changes and I sent it to them and he agreed to them, a lot of wording and things, um, where it would be uh, $26 per hour. And the, the good thing, which we've had trouble in the past keeping a trainer, is they would work for us for 10 to 15 hours a week and then they have to work somewhere else doing another part-time job. What's great about Renew is they're hiring this trainer full-time in whatever hours we don't use, they'll use in one of their offices in you know doing training and doing different things. So it, it's great, it's very flexible for us. You know, if we need 30 hours next week because of tournaments or big things going on, we can have that. So it's uh it's a really great program for us. I'm excited. Now there will be a cost if this is approved to get our training room back up to speed with supplies and things. Because we haven't had a trainer, I don't know how many years it's been since we've had one. That's five or six maybe. So, and we've, we've got some supplies, but we haven't had that expert in there keeping up on everything and updating. So then stuff. do we get the same person each time? Yeah, we have like the same rotation? person. No, nope. okay. we have, we have someone um, that he already has talked to me about and both very excited if that will work out. So, um, CRG mapping. This is something I wanted to bring your, to your attention. <laughs> Last year, we received a grant through the state to get this mapping done. I think I showed you pictures of it where it's interactive in our whole building. And if there was an emergency, uh, I was told that the emergency people would be able to use this. After the meeting last week, um, I found out that the only uh, organization in our area that has access to that is the state police. <laughs> So what I was told is the others, they didn't get a grant or anything to get this program that we did to create the program. So they can have the map, they can look at it on their computer or they can uh, have a hard copy of it, but the interactive part isn't there yet. And I wanted to make sure you knew that as a board because that's what I was told when we received it, that this is a whole interactive thing. Um, they're trying to get it, but as of right now, they do not have the interactive portion. And I just didn't want there to be a situation where you know, the board is saying, why didn't they use the interactive part that we paid that money for? Because they don't have it yet. So, so just they don't up. have a grant, so they can't access it? They can't. Well, the program. I mean, okay. we can give them the map, oh, the hard copy, but the whole okay. program will be able to, you know, see like you're in the building to, yeah. and see the rooftop and you can okay. turn it. That is what they don't have yet. Okay. So, hoping to get that. Uh, construction update. Student-based health. Center uh, construction is underway, making good progress. Um, they're hoping for an early October completion. Obviously, that's going to be dependent on the materials and the cabinets and all the things that they are ordering in, in supplies. Um, I, I've felt a little bit like an interior designer these last couple days with picking out uh, molding for the walls and cabinet colors and floor colors, um, but been uh, talking it over with some experts. Uh, around the office, so hopefully hopefully that will be looking great. Um, Mount Forest, if you drive past there, you can see that the gravel has been uh, put down in the uh, over top of the drainage work. Uh, I have, it's been a week since I've gone out there, so I haven't seen how much it's spread out, but they were making good progress. Oh, yeah. Quite a ways. I good. Just, just seen it. Great. And the next step was to do the, the path to go through there. Mr. Penworthy contacted me today, and uh, they're, they're getting on that, too. So looking good. Bus garage, new transformer will be installed shortly. Consumers and Bach Electric have been working together. Um, I didn't realize this, but currently our bus garage only has power on certain areas because of that blown transformer. So they have things plugged in on this side of the building and not on that side, and it's a mess. So they were trying to get that done as soon as possible so we can have it up and running when school starts. Pump house replacement uh, has been scheduled. If you drove in on that side, I'm sure you've seen the pile of materials. Um, Mr. Kerr has told me that he expects uh, progress this week on that um, to see that start being torn down and, and everything going up. So that's great. Uh, stadium scoreboard construction complete. Looks amazing. Uh, the Booster Club is currently still working on getting the, the advertising signs up and kind of designing what to do on the back. Right now, the back is the huge white uh, surface, and there were a few options um, that the boosters were looking at of making that usable, nice, making it something that's very uh, good for the people to come in and see <coughs> to know where they're at. So that's uh, it's great. Uh, also, I was 
texted a little bit earlier that the message screen is on and it will be on for the night. So if anyone wanted to take a walk out or I don't think you can see it from your car, but just to see the message center is on and they had some training on that today too. So that's uh, exciting. Uh, our roofing project has been going on for uh, a week or so. Had a pretty major issue with the roof last Tuesday with the, the big rain downpours that we had. Um, there was an unfinished area in the middle school where they thought they had covered it all correctly and no issue, but it was like Niagara Falls in a couple classrooms in the hallway. So they were called um, Chip Hendrick. I contacted him right away and he actually came out the next day checking with me on things, uh, gave some tips and things that we needed to look for, but also he's in direct contact with the roofing company to make sure things are done properly because he said if we do a, a scan, a temp scan of that once you're done and there's water underneath, it's going to need to be redone. So, yeah, I'm very happy to have him on our side and making sure that it's it's done correctly because there was a lot of water. And I, I'm thankful for our maintenance and custodians because that was the day they were supposed to be doing the gym and the half of them are in there with buckets and trying to stop all the leaks. Uh, so that was uh, an exciting day. To say the least. Uh, soccer fence is scheduled to go up the week of August 26th. I did contact the fence crafter today um, and with a few construction things we're still waiting for the crane to put the roof on the um, on the dugouts and he was a little behind. I said that's fine if we can get it to start that August 26th. We'll, we should have our, our roof taken care of uh, but the boys are out there practicing right now uh, which is, is very exciting. Um, which I hope I'm not stealing uh, the thunder of our athletic director, but our, our first soccer game on that field, field will be uh, the 19th. So, so hopefully if anybody's able to come, able to come out, out, I think, I think we'll, we'll talk about doing something, some kind of little ceremony or ribbon cutting, cutting something because it's been a long time. <laughs> We've been <laughs> waiting for this day to come. So uh, pretty exciting and uh, we're happy to see the guys out there practicing and getting ready to go with our games next week. Any questions? Yeah, the cross country they're going to use is the the track portion that they run is that cleared out? It is not completed. That's what they're, well, I don't know because I haven't talked to the guy. It's the same. The the uh, parking area and the path is the same guy. So I don't know how much he has done on it. it may, maybe it is close. I haven't had an update in a week uh, to know if he has done it. It's not going to take much. So from what I've told, they're going you know around trees. It's not like they have to clear cut things. So that I'm, I'm assuming that it's going to be ready to go on our first meet that we need, hopefully, for practice even. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. Thank you. It's <laughs> 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 It's there right behind the last, the soccer game. Oh, okay. <laughs> Over there, you kind of confuse us with that. <laughs> okay, now, found you. Administrators, I see I have most of you. I should have. I'll, I'll go. All right. um, fall sports today obviously kicked off, so uh, it's, been, it's been good. A little busy, uh, but it's been good. So we've been... Um, one of the new systems we're using too is final forms, so we're obviously having a little bit of you know um, pickups with parents and figuring that out. But in the long run, we really do believe this is like a software that will help. Cause we've been doing a lot of hard copies and trying to get like physicals in that way, so it'll be easier for just all of us coaches, athletic department, and then also parents at the same time right away can see all the documents and it includes like participation fees, um, all the registrations they need. So. Um, it's going, it's going well, um, but we, uh, yeah, so everything's moving smoothly as it can with that right now. Um, and then I know Andy touched base on the soccer game, so yeah, it'll be really cool to do something for that. Um, so we'll plan on doing that. I was in the meeting too as well with the message center, and I know I talked to a couple of you about it, but we actually can control it from our phones and anywhere. It's really cool. So I even just texted Ryan, I was like, can you open it just till 8.30? And he's going to leave it open. So after our meeting, do you guys, if you want, please pop over. We kind of messed with it and did like a playlist of some sort. So 
Um, yes, definitely stop by if you can. Um, and I think that was pretty much it because everything else is kind of covered for me. So, yeah, I think that's it for me. Did we end up doing the prepaid card like for athletic games? You mean like the season game? Yeah, like people could. They can still come in and do it um, if they want to. We're still having that as an option. Okay. So did, did yeah. it go over very well? I know the prepaid were... games. Yeah. I think it went fine. So are you talking about like for like like Go Fan or just in yeah, general? Yeah, yeah. The... So that we're still it, like that's still kind of like a newer phase that we're working on with that. But we've had like a couple people ask us if they do do like if we are going to do it on that mm -hmm. like on Go Fan, but we haven't put that like. All together yet, as okay. far as putting that in, but we want to, so okay. it'll be a lot easier that way. Okay. So our plan is to start using that a little bit more to get that out there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is something good to mention too with GoFan, where we're, we're cashless at the yeah, door, right. yeah. and some parents get upset where we tell them you can buy the family pass yeah. ahead of time, where you, and then it even saves you money, probably a lot of money right. too. Right. So that's one of the option where you know you can get that family pass, and then you don't have to do your credit card or right. anything at yeah. the games. Else? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. I, can I um, just welcome uh, Kim Ellsworth is here. She were uh, on the consent agenda, so our one-on-one -on -one parapro. I just wanted to thank her for being here at our meeting tonight. What, what I want to go back to, Andy, when he tears out like that in the pump house, he's obviously not going to be able to finish it right away. Is there anything out there that can get messed with? Or do we have to do something to that? I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll check with him. I mean, he's covered some things. Really, the only thing that would be out there is the water control for the sprinkling right. system. That's the main thing that someone could mess with. So we'll make sure and cover it up. Thanks. Okay. No more administrators. John, you're good? Yeah, we're all set. All right. Now on the non consent agenda. <clears throat> Make a motion to approve physical therapy. Renew. Be new physical therapy for the athletic trainer. Support. Motion to approve. Roll call. Yaris? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Betafer? Yes. Kucher? Yes. Rabish? Yes. Duby? Yes. 6 0. And for safe for big bet coaching. I'll make a motion to approve for your contract with safe bet coaching services. Support. Got a motion support. Any discussion on that? Roll call. Yaris? Yes. Anderson? <laughs> Betafer? Yes. Kucher? Yes. Ravish? Yes. Duby? Yes. 6 0. We. We got a couple of add ons. Yeah, I think it's moved to approve the purchase of a 2022 IC school bus from MTD. It's going to be 9,965. All right, I got a motion to support on the school bus. Any discussion? Did the team went down already drove us? Uh, Jeremy, Jeremy takes care of it. I don't yeah. know if he. It's the same people we always work it's with. We always it's this. Okay, good. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, roll call. Kucher? Yes. Anderson? Yes. Betafer? Yes. Yaris? Yes. Ravish? Yes. Duby? Yes. 6 0. Is this an added bus or a replacement? It would be a replacement. We're going to sell it. Where's the funds that are sell? Are we already selling the old one? Well, we use the old old ones as backup, and then when they get really bad, then they're turned in for scrap. Okay. Parts too. So this this one will go into backup, and then yeah. one yeah. down the line is going to go into scrap. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Literally around the wheels on. Yeah, we do. Jeremy's <laughs> amazing. Uh, we want to yeah. make we make it some kind of motion for them to outfit the training room. Oh, I think that under that'll just be under our regular budget. budget. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah it's been a long time. I said I think my final year at coaching, which was a year or two before I retired. Yeah. Um, Came from Spanish. Amy 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 Am
Two and a half. We might have we might have contracted something for the year. Yeah. It's it's nice for our athletes as long as we are visiting athletes. Yeah. Have that. So it's nice for the client. Yes. Okay. Public comments. Right. Yep. Anybody? Okay. Discussion items. I know Bonnie's not here. We have our training on the 12th. Well, that's what the ones I'm going to do in the training. <laughs> uh, 26 at 2.30 here. I'll let Bonnie know. 6 so. Yep. That's 2.30 here. Yeah. 2.30. Yeah, I think that Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Uh, any, anything else? None. Well, we we're have going to vote to close session for the student reinstatement. Support. Other, other than close session. So I got motion support. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so we move to close session. Thank you, everybody. That's all that we have left of the closed session for reinstatement.